Welcome back to DIY with KB. My name is Kiva and I teach people how to achieve the luxe look for less. In today's video, we are talking about luxury goods from Home Depot. Yes, the hardware store has some amazing decorative accents and you need to add these to your home. Before we get into today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want me to design your home, click the link in my description box for my virtual design sessions. Now let's get into today's video. Let's jump right in. So vintage is in right now, and that means we love the oversized vessels, we love the antique vessels, but we do not like the $400 price tag. Well, look at this one. This is a $78 olive vase and it is to die for. It has so many different textures and colors. It is gray, it is white, it is black, it is everything. And it is giving me everything that it needs to give for a really great price. These vases can be $200, $300, $400 on Etsy, restoration hardware, all of those luxury stores, but you can get this look, of, look for less really, really affordably. This next item is from the same brand. It is a two handle vase and this is so cute. So cute. I see this at RH all the time and I love it. So what I would do with a vase like this is I would put some really overarching florals in it and it will make such a statement. And this is actually one of those vases that you could put on a tabletop, but also on a floor and it's still going to make a statement. I really love these actual, this first piece and this second piece in conjunction with one another, because sometimes it's nice to have the same colors and textures, but with varying heights and varying shapes, it makes it really interesting, but really sticks to your color palette. And this one is also fairly affordable at $101. If you're on my channel, that means that you love ornate stuff. You love being over the top, and that's exactly what this mirror is. This is a total dupe for the RH Louis Philippe gilt mirror, but is $119. Yes, $119. With that other mirror, you're thinking $1,000 easy, and you're not even factoring in delivery, but this is $119. This is the smaller version of the mirror, and it's a little bit less ornate. It actually reminds me more of the Primrose mirror from Anthropology or the Emily mirror from our house. This is just really nice and cute. You could use this over a mantle, on your vanity, in your bedroom. You can use it just about anywhere and it's going to really pack a punch. This is another ornate mirror. This is $134 and the difference is it has less of the ornate detailing on top, but it still has the studding on the side that you see with the gilt mirror. This definitely reminds me more of one of the different restoration hardware mirrors. Yes, I don't know all the mirrors off the top of my head. I'm not that much of a fan, but I love this. It's a little bit more understated and it's less feminine, I think. So I think it could work in a home that's a little bit more masculine and it's on sale right now. It's a normally $179. It's a little bit cheaper and it's just a really phenomenal price. You can't beat it. Ladder shelves are so in right now, and I cannot for the life of me understand how some companies are selling them for $300, $400, $500. They barely have any like material in them, so I just can't justify the price, which is why I absolutely love this Nathan James ladder shelf from Home Depot. And what I actually really love about Home Depot is wholesalers and just different companies, you know, sell to different companies. So they have this exact same shelf actually on Amazon and Wayfair, and on some websites it's cheaper. So right now it's cheaper on Home Depot, but tomorrow it might be cheaper somewhere else. But I really love this because it's really nice and industrial, and it looks Looks like you mount it to the wall or it looks like it could lean up against there either way a really nice crisp and clean look and the shelves are spaced far enough apart where I feel like you could do some layering of heights without it feeling too cluttered and this is really perfect if you have a smaller space now this rendition of it that I'm showing you has the black metal frame and it is $91 but it comes in so many different colors so regardless of your design style there's definitely one for you and the price just changes depending upon that but if you're more glam you can get maybe white and gold if you are more mid-century modern you can get a more cherry wood with something else the opportunities are endless and I would definitely start here if you're looking for some open shelving. This next accent chair blew me away. If you've been here with me for a while, I've been talking about the Chaplin accent chair from All Modern Forever because it looks just like those swivel chairs that you get from those luxury stores, but on All Modern and on Wayfair, it's $530. Now this Geneva chair on Home Depot, exact same chair, $487. You're saving a ton of money there, a ton of money there, and it's the exact same chair. This is the oatmeal and on All Modern right now or Wayfair, I'm not sure which one, but there's only one left in stock. So you can still get this chair just through Home Depot and you can get it for cheaper. Swivel chairs are amazing in a sitting room and a living room. 
in a space where you have limited area for seating, but you want seating that works in one room and another because you can just swivel around and still continue the conversation, which is super important. The next item is this brass gold sconce. I really love this because sconces are in right now. You use them in your bathroom, you lose them in your bedroom, you use them in your hallways. They're just really useful for anchoring a space and illuminating a space because we all need light, obviously. This is a hardwired sconce for $77 and it is hardwired, which means there is no cord. You do have to plug it into your electric system, but you, what you can always do is actually get like a battery operated light bulb, which does exist and put them in something like this. And it actually can be cheaper, especially if hardwiring something is just not in the cards for you. If you rent or you just don't want to go into the wall because you're just not about it. So this is a really great option. This actually works with an array of design styles. I think if you're into contemporary, transitional, traditional, this will work no matter what. I think it's just like a really nice shape and a really muted gold color that isn't too in your face it isn't too gaudy but still ties in that gold or brass that you'd have elsewhere in your home if you're into mid-century modern design this is the bed for you so this handle bed is 344 dollars for the king size i've literally never seen a cheaper bed and i really love the style of it it looks just like something from west elm what I really, really love about this bed is you get a full bed. It's not just and not a full size bed. You get an entire bed. So you get the headboard, you get the sides, you get like the footboard plate, um, but only for $344. Sometimes an entire bed can cost you upwards of $1,000 and that just isn't in the cards for everyone. And what I really like about this is it has the upholstered portion, which could really work in a contemporary transitional design, but it also has wooden legs, which really brings it that mid-century modern element. Even if you don't like mid-century modern, the legs are so small that you could paint them really easily. You could sand them down, paint them and kind of upcycle this bed and make it what you want. It is just like a really nice blank canvas type of bed that if you dress up with throw pillows and bedding, it can really work with any design style, especially if you have a, a smaller budget, which I absolutely love because sometimes when your budget is smaller, you can only get a really cheap headboard or you can't get a headboard or bed at all. But this makes it really accessible. This bed is also wing back, so it does have some sides that add a few inches of depth so that you feel a little bit more cozy. It's a little bit more homey. So again, this is really an ode to traditional, contemporary and transitional design. So if you do that little upcycle on the bottom, this could work in any design style. The next item is this eight light Sputnik chandelier. It is $234 and for some reason they've described it as farmhouse, but I think it looks really nice and contemporary. I really love it. And this is not something that you just need to use in your kitchen. You can use a chandelier in just about every room, barring a bathroom, unless you have a big bathroom. I wouldn't necessarily encourage that, but in closets, in kitchens, living rooms, dining rooms, in all of these rooms, chandeliers really just carry in your design style and really add some visual interest near the ceiling. Sometimes all of our design is really close to the floor and we want to carry it upwards and i think it looks a little bit less glam than sputniks tend to because the bulbs are not huge and round they're a little bit more tapered which i think looks a lot more high end this next item is a modern farmhouse chandelier for $256. And I'm telling you, I have seen this in Pottery Barn. I've seen it in Pottery Barn and it's not inherently super expensive at Pottery, ba Pottery Barn, but it's definitely more expensive than $256. And why spend more money when we could save money and achieve that luxe look for less? I really love this for a dining room, even a kitchen. I think if you have a farmhouse or a modern farmhouse or even a mid-century modern design, I think that this would be really successful. Another reason why I sometimes want you to try and achieve the luxe look for less and shop at other places than the luxury stores is when luxury stores create items, they're normally creating them for larger spaces, which means they are 36 inches or 48 inches or just really massive. And sometimes that doesn't work if we have a smaller home and scale is equally as important as the items you put in the space. It doesn't matter if something is stylistically correct if it doesn't fit the space in terms of its size. This trestle dining table almost has completely five star reviews from all of its ratings and is only $499. This table is perfect if again you have the farmhouse, the modern farmhouse, a mid-century modern, or even a more traditional design style. It's just really nice and simple. It has really nice wood tones. It's not too orange. It's not too red. It can really work in 
any home regardless of what your floors look like which i think is really important because when we flat buy our furniture we want to buy furniture that we can take to our next location even if we don't know what that next location is going to look like so i like that this dining table doesn't have any really jarring undertones and the price is just really great i wouldn't recommend a table like this if you have to seat a lot of people because when you do have a trestle table sometimes your legs can hit the trestle underneath and that can be uncomfortable especially if you have taller people sitting at the ends of your table but otherwise it's a really great option and the price is phenomenal if you are a home goods lover, which I'm sure you are, you have probably purchased items from A&B Home. They are a wholesaler, which means you cannot buy from them directly, but they produce those busts and other more Roman and Grecian inspired items that are really popular right now in modern and transitional design. Next, we have this Corinthian pedestal. It's $139 and it's a really nice decorative accent. You can add this to the front of your home. You could add this to your fireplace. Anywhere where you feel like you need an oversized decorative accent, this is where I would do this. It gets you something sculptural and something with an ode to, you know, um, a more historic time. I mean, it creates a really nice contrast when you have a modern home to have something that looks a little bit more antique to compare with the things that you have that have really clean lines or are super modern and are super duper harsh. Oftentimes I actually see people use these pedestals as stands for sculptures or stands for plants. So they are really versatile and honestly they can really stand on their own. They're a really nice decorative accent if you like to have some interesting architectural features or an ode to interesting architectural features, but your house in itself is kind of boring when it comes to that. One of the brands that I always recommend for faux greenery is Nearly Natural. They get really great reviews across the board on their own website, on Amazon. They are selling this faux Birds of Paradise plants here on Home Depot for $112.90. So $113 for 63 inches. In terms of height, that is actually pretty good. And the price is great too. Faux trees, like you've seen in my home, they can cost $300, $400. On Restoration Hardware, they sell some for upwards of $1,000. And they just don't need to be that expensive, of course. If you have the natural sunlight and the ability to care for real plants, obviously that's what I want you to do. But if you can't do that, this is a really, really great option to make it look a little bit more natural, even though it's already nearly natural. Add some moss to the top, add some soil, put it in a new vessel. Maybe consider one of those vessels I showed you earlier in the video and pair it with something like that it'll look rustic it'll look more real and you're going to get that really nice natural high-end look for less the last item is this stone like decorative vase for 78 dollars you guys my urns from restoration hardware have just texture just like this and they were upwards of 200 dollars a piece this one is 78 dollars and look at this texture they even have a zoomed in picture to prove it to you it looks so real because it is real you're not even buying something that's faux it's real you get that texture and you get it for less the reason why places like home depot have a ton of vessels really affordably is that they sell plants right they have an outdoor section so they're able to get these things a lot more affordably for their actual intended use instead of you know getting a concrete vase for something that doesn't really require concrete is decorative so when you look at places like home depot lowe's hardware stores places like that you're going to get vases and vessels and things that are really popular right now a lot cheaper and plus they're going to be big enough to actually accommodate your plants and faux plants so it's a win-win situation Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Those are some items from Home Depot that look super luxurious. I wanted to do a video from a hardware store because not everyone has access to Target and Restoration and the Dollar Tree, but Home Depot is something that I know they have in Canada and they have throughout the United States. I'm sorry, international viewers, I'm trying. I'm gonna try and get some more stores soon. Let me know down below if you've picked up any of these items and what your home decor finds have been from Home Depot and other unexpected places. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to like subscribe and follow me on Instagram and until next time have a beautiful day